In this video, we're going to look at how we can add build in and build outs to objects in a keynote presentation on the Mac. Let's go to my Mac. Now, in addition to applying transitions between our different slides, what we can also do is add build ins and build outs to our different objects on the slide. As an example, let's take a look at this slide here. I'm going to go and tap on play or press on play. And this is using a build in, the text is. When I tap on the space bar, the text is going to come in one bullet at a time. This is a build in. It's building that text in or building that object in as I press the space bar. There's the transition to the next slide. Now when I tap the space bar again, it's going to use a build in. It's building in that table. And again, I'm going to press it. It's going to go to a transition. I'm going to the next slide. But now what it's going to do is build in a chart. So now we have our chart here. And this is building in that chart as I am pressing the space bar. So that's what build ins are. You can build in an object. You can also build it out and apply an action to that while it's on the slide. So how do we do that? Well, let's just start out with a blank slide and add a few objects to see how this works. I'm going to go to add slide here. And then what we do is we go to our blank slide. Next thing that we need to do is we need to add some objects. This can be text, it can be a shape, it can be an image. We just need objects. So what I'm going to do is go up to shape here and we're just going to go with a box. Let's just place it in here. We're going to go with a couple different shapes here. Go with rounded corners and let's just go with an arrow. So now I have three different shapes in here. Now what I can do when I transition to this slide is have these shapes here build in. All I need to do is just select the shape that I want to apply the build in to. So I'm going to select this first one here, this square. And then when we go over to animate, being that I have the object selected, what I'm able to do is build this in as well as add an action and build out. So now I just go and add an effect, click on it, and I select how I want to build it in. We can preview it. So let's say I wanted this to fly in. All I do is go over to preview here. I click on preview and watch that square. It's going to fly in. Not very dramatic. Let's see what else we have here. I could go to cube and now it's going to cube in. We can see it's just spinning around. And then when I scroll up, I can also anvil it in. And we can see we have a little smoke as it drops. Let's go with that one. So I just select this. And now when that object enters the slide after the transition, what it's going to do is apply the anvil effect. Let's go and add another build in. We're going to go with this one here. Click on it. I go over to my animate and then I go over to add effect. Click on it. And now let's go and select another one. With this one, we're going to go with flame. We can get a preview here and we can see it's flaming in. Yeah, let's go with that. And now let's go and add one more. So I just select the object. You're going to see there's a pattern here. I select it. I go to build in. I add the effect. And again, we're just going to go with an extreme thing here. We're going to go with, let's see what sparkle is. Yeah, I like sparkle. Now let's take a look at this. We're going to go to our slide here and I'm going to click on play. And now watch what happens. As I tap the space bar, what's going to happen is, is those objects are going to build in. So now I tap the space bar. There's our first one. Tap it again. We have the flame. I tap the space bar again. We have the shimmer. Now that all the objects are on the page, what is it going to do now? Well, what it's going to do is go to the next slide. So after you build in all of your different objects, it just goes to the next slide. But before you build that in or before you go to that next slide, what you can also do is build out. So let's say I wanted this square here to build out. I need it to build in and then I want it to build out. All I do is just go and select it again. And then we go over to build out. And let's go and add an effect. 
This time we're going to have it, swipe up here, we're going to go with, let's see what Blast is like. Yeah, Blast's out of there, so I go Blast. So now it's going to Blast out of there. Just go to the next one here. We're going to add a build out to it. So it's going to build in with the flame. Let's just go and build it out with the sparkle. And now it's going to build out with the sparkle. This arrow is going to build in with the sparkle. Let's go and have this one build out with the flame. So I go over to my object. I select it. And then we go over to build out. Add the effect. And now I go down to flame here. And now that is going to build out with the flame. So now we have build ins and build outs. Let's take a look at this. I click on the slide. We go over to play. And now it's going to build in. It builds in and it builds in. And now what's going to happen is they're going to build out. There it goes. It shimmers out and this one is going to be a flame when it builds out. Now that they're all out, it'll go to the next slide. Let's take one more look at this. In addition to having it build in and then build out, we can also apply an action. So let's go to my arrow here. What I want to do is apply an action to it. I want it to spin. So now I go to action here. I add an effect. And then let's go with rotate. So now it's going to rotate. And what I can do is I can set various options. How often is it going to rotate? What's the angle? So you have various options with these different actions, depending on the action that you have. Now, if I were to play this right now, what it would do is I would add the action after it builds out. That's not what we want to do. It's putting these in order that I am building them in and building them out. Let's say we wanted to change the order. Let's say I wanted to have this square build in and then build out. And then I want to have this rounded corner build in, then build out. And then I want to have this arrow build in, do the action, and then build out. How do I rearrange how these are being built in and built out? I have everything applied, but it's not going to work properly. Well, what we need to do is we need to go down to build order. When I click on this, we have a new window that opens up and I can change the build order. All I have to do is just drag and drop these different objects around. So what I want to do is I want to have the square here build in and then I want to have it build out. So I go over to square where it's a build out and I drag this up above. So now what's going to happen is it's going to build in and then it's going to build out. Let's go and do that with the rounded rectangle. I go and drag this up, and then it's going to build in, and then it's going to build out. And then we have the arrow here, and you're going to see that the action is at the last point. You're going to see it says down here, rotate is the last one. So it's going to build out, and then the action is going to apply. So it's really not going to work properly. So what I need to do is put this in the middle here, and now it's going to build in, it's going to spin, and then it's going to build out. So let's take a look at this. Here's my square, it's building in. Now what's gonna happen is it's going to build out. It's gonna build in, and now this rounded corner shape is gonna build out. And now this one is going to build in, it's going to spin, and then it's going to build out. We'll take a closer look at this build order in another lesson. We can actually do more with this. We can have these build-ins and build-outs happen at the same time as an example. But we'll take a closer look at that in another lesson. So that's how we add build-ins and build-outs as well as actions to our objects in Keynote on the Mac. Basically what we can do is we can have an object build-in, we can have it do an action such as spin, and then we can have it build out. We can set what the order of those build-ins and build-outs are. All we have to do is go to animate when we have an object selected and then you're going to see build-in, action, and build-out. You do have to have the object selected. From there you just go and select how you want it to build in, if you want to apply any actions to it, and how you want it to build out. Once you have all of these build-ins and actions and build-outs applied, you can also set the build order. 
Click on build order at the bottom, new window will open up and then just drag it around how you want them to build in and build out. So that's how we add build ins and build outs to objects within a slide in Keynote on the Mac.